Hello everyone, it's Gladius. So in 10.1.5, there is a really great catch-up mechanic using the time rift system. It's important that we do things in a certain order so we don't miss out on getting the most loot drops when it comes to the event. In this guide here, I'm gonna go over exactly how the time rift system works and then also a lesser known daily opportunity that players are able to use to be able to guarantee the chance that they're gonna get some loot on their bosses. Let's get right into it. First, let's talk about the rift system, what it is, where it is, and how we can take part in it. First thing you need to do to start the event is to head over to this icon on your map. After getting there, check in with Swordormi to actually begin the event. You'll notice a weekly quest available. Go ahead and pick this up. Heading over here and checking in with Swordormi is going to serve you a series of tasks to complete to be able to charge up a gauge that's at the top of your screen that's going to unlock the Time Rift boss. These tasks are gonna almost be like World Quest style activities where you just complete them and then you're awarded with progress. All players working together in the area are going to work together to charge up the Rift to be able to go in and fight the boss. The bar at the top of your screen is Temporal Essence. And depending on how many you and the rest of the players in the area score within the first phase where you're completing these tasks, you'll be awarded with a box of tampered reality that's gonna scale with the amount of Temporal Essence that you earned. This is similar to other world quest objectives that you've done in Dragonflight. So all players are gonna benefit from the progress achieved by any player participating in this event. There's two major currencies we're working with here. There's Paracausal Flakes, which you'll get these awarded as you're completing these objectives and fighting these monsters. You are able to just grind these monsters to be able to earn these Paracausal Flakes, but the main source of getting these is completing the time rift and fighting the boss, and you're able to get a cash that's gonna award you upwards of a thousand or more of these. The cash is a reward from the quest when time needs mending that you get from Swordormi when checking in with Swordormi and beginning the Time Rift event. This is a weekly quest, so you can accomplish it once a week and then get the cash as a reward. It's worth noting that you can do this on multiple characters. And a lot of the rewards that you're gonna receive from this event is gonna be passable between characters because it's bind on account. This does not include the 402 gear, however. So that's how we get Paracausal Flakes, but what exactly can we buy with them? Well, there's a whole bunch of cosmetics you can get, and I'm not gonna go through each one of those here and now, but each vendor is gonna have a different theme to their cosmetics that's gonna match the boss, and included in that is some pretty cool looking cosmetics. Hidden among all the cosmetics is also gonna be some really great trinkets to get your hands on. Their effects are gonna be reminiscent of some previous legendary effects that we've had in the game before. For example, Fragment of Frostmourne is gonna be familiar to those who remember Shadowmourne from back in the day. Now, let's talk about dilated time capsules. These dilated time capsules are gonna be awarded by defeating the Rift boss and opening the cache. Now, each one of these dilated time capsules is going to be a piece of veteran gear from she Everbreeze. This will help you fill in maybe a gear gap with a slot you haven't been able to find an upgrade for just yet. Which leads us to our final item that we're taking a look at today called Encapsulated Destiny and the rare version, Greater Encapsulated Destiny. These items on use are gonna guarantee that you get loot from the next time that you down a boss from the time rift. Now there's a daily you can actually complete before you do your first time rift where you can get your encapsulated destiny for your first run. You can head on over to this location here to get to the every when in. Once you get here, you're gonna see Sword Dormi with another quest for you. These quests can be completed daily and they will award you with encapsulated destiny, Sword Dormi Commendation, which is going to award you with 30 reputation for Sword Dormi and then also Paracausal Flakes as well. And again, remember the Encapsulated Destiny are gonna give you the additional rewards when you down the Time Rift bosses. And if you're ever curious about when the next Rift is gonna spawn, you can scroll over the Rift to check the amount of time until the next one's here. Again, it's every hour. And that's gonna do it everyone for the Time Rift system in 10.1.5. In Let me know in the comment section below, is this a good enough catch up system for you? Were you expecting a little bit more catch up or is this too much? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if the video helped you out today, please throw strike that like button. And if you wanna stay tuned for more WoW content in the future, please slam the subscribe. I appreciate your time today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.